right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVing. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, introducing the challenger downtown. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space, 
The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Back to the feet now. Nice punch by Nomago Medov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, look at him load up on that right. Just misses with the straight right. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Another one. Yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Nermago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. That's a big strike right there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice shot to the body there. Check that kick as well. Come on, let's go. Let's get busy. We got 30 seconds left. Liver kick. Wow, vicious uppercut. Oh, spinning back fist. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful 
that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Nice punch, man. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That punch, no good. Oh, slips to avoid the right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Nermago Meta. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh man, look at that. Fit the turf, perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful take out. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, pretty good entry there. He gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and palm to open up submission opportunities. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense is a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. And he landed. Great job. Oh, straight right. It's your defense. It's your defense now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Dig and kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And oh, he hurt. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up at the fight stand. Throws the right hand there. 
straight right, he misses. Wow! What a round! Hey, stop! All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Expecting it, and how he lands early and he lands off. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Effective punch there by Nermago. Didn't like that oh. Man. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! Fix it all up. Real sneaky body kick. Able to land there with the straight left. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got hurt. Oh! Huge right hand! that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle So the internationally recognized Sambo master Habib Nurmagomedov stays undefeated here tonight. And the opposition may know what's coming, but more often than not, the UFC, they have been unable to stop it. Khabib Nurmagomedov remaining a major threat in this UFC lightweight division. <laughs>